the memories, the experiences, the sins. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 unscripted moments in video games. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. For this list, we're taking a look at times where video games didn't seem to behave normally and wound up giving us something special, whether it was good or bad. Have you experienced any of these for yourself? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Purple Gem Powers, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic 06 was already plagued with a buffet of problems, so much so that you could say that this entire game is, in a sense, unscripted. However, the one we have to take a hard glance at is the Purple Gem. Whereas the other gems provide a variety of abilities that can be useful, the Purple Gem is outright broken. Using this will simply shrink Sonic, but will also, for some reason, give Sonic ridiculously high jumps. As ridiculous and useless as this seems, the Purple Gem's broken condition has been utilized by speedrunners as a means to skip entire sections of the game. And no, we have not forgotten about the infinite Knuckles jump in Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Number 9. Hank and Connor's Dialogue – Detroit Become Human Listen, Connor… If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Most who have played Detroit Become Human will tell you that Hank and Connor's story was the best part of the entire game. Why is that? Well, it turns out a handful of scenes featuring the cop and android were improvised by Clancy Brown and Brian Deckard, Hank and Connor's respective actors. Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? The most iconic of these improvised scenes has been the part where Hank steals Connor's coin, only to then start trying to mimic Connor's ultra-precise moves. Moments like this gave the duo way more depth, and it showed how great Brown and Deckard's chemistry was. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Number 8. Child Flight – Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga There was a time where Lego games weren't the most polished on the market and came with their own technical problems. Luckily, Skywalker Saga came out in top-notch condition, but there was one interesting aspect to the game that seemed a bit… off. The youngest of the playable Anakins is unkillable when designated as the AI-controlled party member. Couple this fact with the aerial movement in combat, and you have what the community has dubbed Child Flight. Beat the snot out of Kid Annie to cross large gaps. It may not be efficient, but it's somewhat hilarious to witness. Number 7. Reese's Gassy Delivery – Tales from the Borderlands Well, this isn't the first time we've had to okay, get creative. Okay, we'll, okay, come on. We'll find a rocket booster. I know what we have to do. Storytelling in video games tends to be a bit more strict at times with its actors. Very rarely do we really get to see actors try out things with their characters that aren't in the script. This little moment in Tales from the Borderlands, on the other hand, was completely accidental. During recording, Troy Baker, who voices Reese, goes through a bit of indigestion before apologizing and blaming the gas on breakfast. Infiltrate Hyperion and steal Gordis's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. This, however, would become the official line for Reese in the final version of the game. Honestly, we couldn't imagine the scene being done without it now. No shit, moron. Number 6. Penta Penguin – Crash Team Racing <laughs> Technically, Penta Penguin was planned to be a part of the final version for Crash Team Racing, and he still made it into the game as a secret character that can only be unlocked via cheat code. So why does he make the list? Well, he's not entirely finished. <laughs> In addition to certain animations causing him to glitch out on occasion, Penta Penguin holds audio placeholders that never got their finalized sounds. So instead of hearing normal dialogue, you'll sometimes hear the voice of programmer Gavin James saying, Penguin Yay 1 and Penguin Yay 2. Ooh. Number 5. Money Printing Art – Cyberpunk 2077 What? Th th this piece of junk? Yeah, pff, probably nothing. Yes, yes, we know that Cyberpunk 2077 launched with a wealth of problems, 
While many were quests bugging out or AI not behaving normally, there was an exploit that could make you the richest person in Night City. With the Space Oddity painting, players could sell the painting to drop points for 4,000 eddies and buy it back for a mere 5, meaning you could practically turn drop points into temporary ATMs. Moment of truth. Here it goes. All of a sudden, every expensive item in Night City got super, super cheap. Unfortunately, this exploit has been patched as of January 2021. Some bougie prick hung it on his wall. Half the lube's floating in space. Number 4. Behind the Vault. Fallout 76. Like Cyberpunk 2077, Fallout 76 had its entire economy blasted, but in a totally different way. In just two months after launch, players discovered a way to access a developer room filled with all of the weapons and supplies included in the game in limitless quantities. It wasn't long before folks began abusing this, and Bethesda went on high alert. This did not stop these players from creating Smurf accounts and dumping their inventories into chests for their main accounts to snack. Of course, this has been patched since, but who could have predicted a backdoor entrance could have been so easy to open? Number 3. Accidental Peace Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain We must never relax. The last nuke was deactivated. That is a fact. The multiplayer component to MGS5 was just as intriguing and nebulous as its single-player campaign. For example, a special cutscene would play when every player deactivated their nuclear arms. This cutscene would play for all of its players by accident in February 2018. Only then will we be truly triumphant. According to publisher Konami, the servers for MGS5 were given incorrect values, thus triggering the cutscene. At least seeing this cutscene wasn't tied to something special like an achievement or trophy. Of course, anyone can see this cutscene for themselves thanks to the power of data miners and YouTube. Gotta love the irony. Number 2. Wave Dashing Super Smash Bros. Melee Smash Bros. Melee introduced a handful of strategies and mechanics that would become inspiration for other platform fighting party games. Thing is, that this was never a main part of Melee. In case you aren't aware, wave dashing is an exploit in the game's physics, allowing the player to use the speed of an air dodge to slide without needing to walk or run. Even though series creator and director Masahiro Sakurai and his team were aware of this exploit, removing it would have proven to be a big hassle. Nowadays, it's practically a necessary technique to learn in order to stand a chance at competitive melee tournaments. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Missing No. Pokemon Red and Blue. pretty laborious yet easy to trigger, the mythical Missing No is very much a real part of the first Pokémon game. By doing a very specific series of actions, players can come across Missing No for themselves, and the reason for this all boils down to technical specifications and programming. Due to the limited technical capabilities of the original Game Boy, it was easy to exploit the game's scripting and cause it to display sprites it wasn't supposed to use. Just be careful when replicating this for yourself as it can cause problems in visuals and Hall of Fame data. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.